Hey guys, girls and non-binary pals, welcome back to another character analysis video. For once, I'm actually early, and who better to start off our early streak than with our first unique preservation character Fushuan. With her release in a couple of days, let's have a look at our first HP based preservation character, the Divination Commission's very own Master Diviner, Fushuan. Fushuan is a quantum character on the preservation path, providing team-wide damage reduction and heals. She is nothing short of a jack of all trades when it comes to getting your carries to survive. Moto Quantum Wanters rejoice, as you will now have a strong defensive unit which will definitely aid in the coming MOC reset. For skill priority, it's honestly a tie between her talent and skill. Both provide plenty of defensive capabilities and utility. Personally, I would prefer maxing the talent as a priority as it focuses more on survivability and keeping Fushuan alive, which results in your team taking less damage overall. Next would be the ultimate which deals damage based on her max HP. And last and definitely the least would be the normal attack which is underwhelming compared to the rest of her kit but it's understandable as her kit is pretty overloaded. On to relics, the common theme is the longevous set as her kit revolves around damage soaking and HP, naturally the set which increases HP would be a priority. However, I do not agree that the 4 piece set would be the most ideal, rather 2 piece across the board would be my pick of choice. First paired with the hacker set for more speed, naturally more speed equals faster reapplication of damage sharing. Next would be 2 piece of the damage reduction set which aids in her survivability and damage soaking. And last would be a more offensive stance with 2 piece quantum. However, you can run 2 piece longevous for a more offensive Fushuan as her HP will naturally drop triggering the crit rate gain passive. However, from my understanding, sub DPS Fushuan might not be the most ideal way but to each their own. If you enjoy it, please go ahead. For stats distribution, for the body piece as well as the planar spear, HP is the main targeted stats. For boots, you could interchange speed for HP depending on the substats of your artifacts. Whereas for the rope, it would be HP or ER depending on your style of play. For planar sphere, fleet of the ageless would be the prime pick. Not only increasing HP but also providing an attack boost team wide if you hit the speed threshold. Next would be Broken Kill for crit damage buff team wide if you reach the very low requirement for effect rest. And last would be Sprightly Want Whack for some minor energy regeneration. With the focus stats being HP for both the rope and the sphere. However, you can of course interchange the rope for ER as well. For materials, the major essential material is Nail of the Ape, needing 65 pieces, 8 tracks of Destiny, 12 drops of Fentilia, and drops from the Preservation Calyx. As a short summary, Fushuan is a very direct character to build and a trailblazer for HP based preservation characters. Pun 100% intended. Having some speed and effect rest will make her more consistent but HP is the way. However, she does have a clear cut problem which we will explore in the next section. Now on to the next section, we have Light Cones. So first, let's have a look at her signature. She already shut her eyes, coming in hot with 1270 HP, 529 defense and 423 attack. Increases the wearer's max HP by 24% and increases user's energy regen by 12%. When the user HP drops, grant allies 9% damage for 2 turns. At the start of every wave, restore 80% of lost HP to all members. Wow! What a light cone. Increasing her tankiness and probability to drop damage. While providing more security via wave heals, it is very clear that this is the current strongest non-defense based preservation light cone. So the main glaring issue with Fushuan is that she does, ha does not have many alternative light cones. I would say there are about 3 light cones which I would recommend as an alternative. So the first one being Texture of Memories. Providing 953 HP, 331 defense and 476 attack. If you're not sure where to get it, you can get it from the Hertha store. This light cone increases the wearer's effect rest by 8% which synergizes well with Broken Kill. 
Gains a 16% max HP shield if the wearer is not shielded or gain 12% damage reduction if the wearer is shielded. This is a strong defensive alternative like Cone to the signature, however it is more selfish slash user focused rather than the team-wide utility provided by the former Light Cone. The good news is that this Light Cone can be superimposed so it will be a strong defensive substitute nonetheless. Last but not least is Lando's Choice, providing 847 HP, 198 defense and 370 attack, which increases your likelihood to be attacked while reducing your damage taken by 16%. The target control is pretty good and decent damage reduction make this a premier choice among the available 4 star light cone. However, if you don't have this and need another alternative, you can look at we are wildfire which is available in the memory of chaos shop if you made it to this section don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and if you enjoy we are wildfire drop a like as well on to the skill section so this is probably the more complicated section in terms of our lovely character fushuan here so let me just open up all so you guys can have a reference so let's look at her technique the on-field ally applicable to all gains a barrier for 20 seconds. This prevents ambush and blocks any projectile. When entering battle, gain Matrix of Prescience for two rounds. You might be asking, what is Matrix of Prescience? We will unearth that via the skill description later. This is a pretty good defensive talent, especially if you're AFK grabbing something in the middle of your Honkai Star Rail Grindfest. Next would be her talent, Grants Misfortune Avoidance for 2 turns, reducing damage taken by 80% team-wide. And when Fushan's HP drops below 50%, recovers 90% of her missing HP. This skill has a max of 2 trigger counts and has 1 trigger count by default. Next would be her normal attack, Nova Burst, which deals 50% of Fushan's max HP as quantum damage. Her skill on the other hand is much more impressive, known by the stars, shown by hearts. Grants Matrix of Prescience for 3 turns, which distributes 65% of damage taken by allies to Fushan. Allies also gain the Knowledge Passive, increasing their max HP by 6% of Fushan's max HP and boosting their crit rate by 12%. Last but not least is her ult, which deals 100% of Fushuan's max HP to all enemies and gains 1 trigger count of the effect granted by Fushuan's talent. This is why you would want some ER in her kit, as you get more ultimate equals more chance of surviving. Now, on to our favourite section, Eidolons. So this section may not be applicable to the average player, but it's definitely applicable to Kyrie. <laughs> Shout out to my community VIP Kyrie. Follow my Twitch for weekly streams if you haven't and be a community VIP soon. First is Dominus Patches. When allies gain the knowledge effect, they further gain 30% crit damage, which is disgusting. Next is E2, where upon allies death, if Matrix of Pre-Science is active, revive them with 70% of their max HP once per battle. Finally, we have another character with a revive mechanic that is tied to the team. Very very interesting, for those of you who are getting her E2, you're definitely going to find that very good in Memory of Chaos. Next is E3, where her skill and talent goes up by 2 levels, maxing out at level 15. E4, when allies are under Matrix of Prescience passive, if they are attacked, Fushan gains 5 energy. This helps her survivability by granting her the restore stacks more often, and it might result in you not needing to get an energy recharge rope. For her Eidolon 5, her ultimate goes up by 2 levels, maxing at 15, and her normal attack goes up by 1 level, maxing at 10. E6, once Matrix of Prescience is activated, it will keep a tally of total HP lost by all team members. Fushan's alt damage will increase by 200% of total HP loss, kept at 120% of Fushan's max HP. The tally resets once alt is used. If you're running for DPS slash sub DPS, Fushuan, you're definitely going to need that E6. So good luck to your wallet. And now we have my favorite section, Team Comp Analysis. So we are featuring the latest two characters to come out in Honkai Star Rail. The first being Impipital Lune as well as Fushuan in the same team. So this is a semi-premium team. 
this lineup focuses on getting Imbibitor Lune to absolutely destroy your enemies with a buffer in Ting Yun and a debuffer in Pella, as well as a semi buffer in Fu Xuan. You're definitely going to be dealing insane critical damage to all enemies on the field. On top of that, you have Fu Xuan basically being a damage soaker so that Ting Yun doesn't die 3000 times forcing you to reset your memory of chaos over and over again. Next we have the Shenzhou Alliance with Jing Yan as the focus. We have Yu Kong and Ting Yun as the buffers and Fu Xuan as the defensive character. So this team is a little bit more SP hungry but it will definitely be able to deal a lot of damage as Yu Kong will increase the crit ratios and Ting Yun will force faster alts for Jing Yuan resulting in a lovely damage boost to our general of the Shenzhou Alliance. Next, we have Ching Che High Roller, who unfortunately missed the banner this time, which basically provides a perfect setup for Ching Che to deal consistently high damage if you hit your tiles right. This is for the Ching Che fans out there. Shout out to Kyrie once again. Last but not least is Mono Quantum, which is a shame as I couldn't find seal emotes for this guy. We have Seal as the DPS with Silver Wolf providing buffs, debuffs, and the latest Abundance Healer in Lynx. And of course, each of these team features our new Preservation Queen, Chuan. So I'm be thinking Mono Quantum mm, doesn't have enough buffers. But I must remember that Fu Chuan does increase crit rate, so that adds to Seal dealing additional damage overall. I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. I know it might not be the most in depth video, but I had fun making it, and I hope you guys find some use and get some good information out of it. It's a quick, simple guide to anyone wanting to build Fushan, and I intend to keep it that way. But if you have any suggestions on how to improve, do let me know. Take care, and don't forget to sub and like. Look out for the new Genshin and Star Rail guides as well. As always, take care. Peace.